What is good, YouTube? Kamikaze FX here with Dream Team Edit in Sony Vegas Wednesday, week two. And uh, today I'm just going to be teaching you the masking effect, which has been used in a lot of Gears War montages and is a really nice effect. The example you saw in the intro isn't the best of the bunch that I've done, but it is one of the first that I have done, so I think it does look quite good. What I want to do is just select no. Start up a new project. These are my settings. Okay. Now I want to import my clip. Type in fuel. And then I'm just going to look through. And I nearly got it. There it is. This is the clip I'm going to use. So you just want to drag your clip in. And I'm just going to quickly make this clip full screen. Green Gears of War. Okay, uh, switches, unclick that. Wow, sorry, this is being extremely slow because Camtasia Studio is running in the background. I might close Dynamis and maybe that'll make my computer a bit quicker. Um, right click, switches. Sorry, everything's going wrong. Delete that keyframe. There we go. So, as you can see, I've got my clip full screen, and you just want to go through and find the part of the clip that you want to mask. Now, I know the exact time of the bit that I want to mask because I've just practiced on this clip, and there it is. So, what you want to do is you want to split the clip, preferably set it to best for the image. Auto. And for the sake of the image, I'm going to go best full. Save snapshot to file. It's going to take a bit to render this little snapshot. And I want to save it. Now I'm just going to change this back down to draft because I'm running Camtasia. And drag that clip away. Now you want to import your screenshot you've just taken. So there you go. And insert another video track and import that screenshot again. Now the bottom one is for the background and the top one is for the actual mask that you're going to be doing. So now you just want to hit the mask the mask checkbox here which you only get if you use Sony Vegas Pro 8.0. Not if you use Sony Vegas Platinum Edition, no it has to be Sony Vegas Pro. So now I'm just going to mask out my beard. Now I'm going to rush this mask, but if I was using it, say for a montage, I would take my time on this mask. Now this is going to, what, what have I just done? Right, masking does really get on my nerves. Click there. You see that? Click. There we go. Now, um, this mask is going to look ugly. I'm not going to lie. It is because it has been overly rushed. And there we go. Now you just want to go. This makes it look a lot more neat. Feather type both. Feather three. And there you go. You have your mask done. So uh, for the effect I'm going to be doing, which is just to have the mask pop out, what you want to do is I'm just going to make it so you can see the preview window. If you just want to, what, what is up with this? Sorry, I'm. Oh, you just want to grab one of these boxes on the sides and drag it in. Then, as you can see, the mask you've just done is going to pop out because you've zoomed into it. So I just wanted to put him in position. Drag that keyframe over to there. That keyframe. Restore. Then make a new keyframe around there. Restore. So now if I'm just going to go through this frame by frame. You can see that he pops out. So now I want to find the area where I want to split the screenshot. 
to stop it. So split, split, delete, delete. Now drag this clip over to the end of the screenshot. So now what you get is the mask popping out and then straight after it goes back in, bam, the clip plays. Uh, what you want to do, well, this is what I'm going to do to change the color of the mask. Ambient red spotlight from the light rays. Turn off bound radius. And I want to keyframe it. So, I want to go drag that over to there. New keyframe over here where the blend is maximum. And a new keyframe where he's fully gone back in. So, around there, blend maximum. Now, I'm just going to turn the blend up here and turn the noise up a bit so as you can see we've got this nice grainy effect on him as he pops out so he, ch he changes color to a nice red and he goes all grainy and then he, he goes back in and the clip will play straight after um, so there you go that's probably the, diff the most difficult tutorial I've done for Dream Team Editing so far I uh, hope you enjoy this one and peace out uh, make sure to subscribe to Dream Team Editing. Uh, next week, if you want, I'll do a render tutorial, teach you how to get high quality settings.